So here we have the Motorama Coloring Book from 1960. And there's some of the most fascinating imagery I've ever seen in a 50s, 60s themed modern technology book. And this is for kids. I mean, the space stuff in there is just incredible. So let's go through it. Now, at first, you get your standard, you know, cars, trucks, boats. But when we get to the space age stuff, it really just blows my mind what they thought the future would look like and indeed what their current time was. Some of these is in colored, a bit odd, yellow, red, green. But others have just been completely untouched. And you know, look at that bus stop sign, that's just incredible. cabin cruiser, as they're calling it. Just the epitome of the American dream. Now, this book is very fragile because this paper is the cheap stuff. It's not acid free, it's meant not to last. I just love these kind of buses with the upper views. And we actually have an early jet. But it has the square windows, not the round windows, so it's not any type of strata liner. Because the square windows apparently burst. Apparently the station wagon, according to this, was useful if you live in the country. Not for the city folks. Stock car racing and regular car racing. Test pilot ponders space flight while toying with a model rocket. And if one thing, one style defines the 50s, it would definitely be space age. I mean, even my 1956 Nash has this very futuristic looking airplane on it for the hood ornament. As you can tell, this is all modern tech within the last 30 years. None of the traditional trains or anything are depicted here. There's a streamliner again. Oh, I guess there is one vintage train. An old time train Famous in early railroad times. Here we have it's a thing as a stunt plane. Someday, perhaps, we will all have helicopters 
as we have automobiles. Just love the bubble copters. And of course, the all time famous DC 3. If you know anything about airplanes, you'll know the DC 3. And again, with the square windows and of course, traditional prop driven turbines instead of the jets. Here's a constellation. Early experiments with rockets like the V2 led to today's amazing missiles. They make everything sound so happy in this book. V2 is not a rocket I'd want to deal with. A cutaway model of a one-man spacecraft. And that looks absolutely comfortable. And you know this book's after the 40s because it's calling it the Air Force instead of the Air Corps. Portable radar. And the Terrier is a ship to aircraft missile that can be launched in eight tenths of a second and travels at twice the speed of sound. The needle nosed Navy missile is called the Regulus II. And it looks like something out of Johnny Quest, honestly. Of course, we have the Sputnik-type rocket orbiting around the Earth, but on the next page... This is the actual size of one type of Earth satellite. It's like, oh my gosh, it's that small? Why does it have windows? Like, are those windows? Like, there's like no context, so it's really just this little tiny hand-sized ball. I mean, I... I guess I can believe it if that's the plate that holds it together, and these are rivets, so it's just so small. It's like, what's the use of it? And here we have an early two-stage rocket missile. Is that actual size, too? <laughs> well, if that's the moon... Those are nerfs. Nerf guns, right? Yes, Jake, those are definitely nerf guns. And this is supposed to be the general appearance of what a spacesuit may look like in the future when man finally jumps off to the moon. I mean, this looks like some James Bond stuff now from Moonraker. Except for these tights. I don't know why he has quilted tights and some, what was it, Michelin Man legs? Chrysler? I don't know, it's unbranded. <laughs> I guess they didn't want to get the licensing. Now that's one mailman you don't want to go after if you're a dog. I mean, at this point, I think they are still doing handoffs on trains, just catching the bag with the uh, hook. And then all of a sudden we get this like 40s car. It's like, what? I thought this was a modern book. I mean, what is that, a DeSoto? It's a beautiful car, I almost got one, except for that long front end is horrible in blind corners. And then we have a steamroller, just out of nowhere. And a little pole behind camper that's just massive. What is this, a little tiny British compact? And that looks like our fire engine from the 30s in my home city. You think he'd be greasing it? No, he's just polishing it. Then we have a lovely semi, though. Not much has changed on those, other than maybe the cab design. I like this rounded look with these big, wide uh, fenders. I mean, these arches are just beautiful. The dogs are making a lot of noise. I know. Huh. <sighs> Good luck pushing that little wheel through a work zone. It is pretty narrow, isn't it? The dog attacking some delivery man dropping change on the street. And 
he is really eyeing that girl. You know, this little tiny truck, this giant Clifford of a dog chasing it as it pulls a house. And I guess this man's going to cause this guy to slip. I mean, if I were a kid, I'd be drawing water splashing at him as he falls. I'd draw little motion signs. We have a unbranded gas pump. I'm really not sure how it works. It seems like there's no nozzle for the fuel to come out. It's like the hose just goes back into it. I really just didn't do any advertising. I mean, that would have been a perfect ad placement. It's like a mini streamliner. I mean, the people are right in the, basically at the cab. Blue Mountain, so there is pass, or advertisements. Kind of the last of the street cleaners. We actually push the carts around. I work with a guy that used to be a street cleaner. When did he retire? Uh, four years ago. <laughs> he did it when he was a kid. So it was in the 70s. He said that's why you, when you sweep, you do a little short. Here we have some child labor. The driver dumps a load of stone on the road, and then little Jimmy here has to go shovel it. And what is this, a Model T panel truck? I mean, I know the mail trucks of today are 30 years out of date, but it seems like that was a long-term thing. Sure hope we don't leave that tractor running. Well, with those slick tires, it's not going any more fast. Ooh, do we have a steam shovel? Should put a little smiley face on there for Mary Ann. Be very careful when you cross the street. And yet today, we watched a kid run out cross traffic three times without looking while we were sitting at a restaurant. Seems like this book just didn't help any. Then you get these beautiful lithographs. My uh, favorite Hot Wheels was a cop car in white like this. I used to beat the crap out of that thing in my little sheriff pursuits. Then I had one that was made of glass for some reason, or enamel or something. So I used that one as the bad guy because it was a fast-looking sports car. <laughs> but there we have it. The 1960 Motorama coloring book of cars, trucks, boats, trains, planes, waterways, highways, railways, and airways by Lowe. 29 cents. Copyright 1960. Kenosha, Wisconsin.